Hardy Craft is back after a few years hiatus. Uh, Not a Global Group has relaunched the Party Craft brand, and man, have they done it with some style. It's like taking the backyard uh, patio furniture, bringing it out on the water. It's pretty cool. Very unique look. I'm sure everybody will be stealing it. It's so cool. Uh, we're powered by a Yamaha F-115, 115 horsepower. Uh, this is a twin tuber, so you know you're not going to get blazing performance out of this boat. But look at this thing. You know it's designed for cruising, and we got on a plane in 2.5 seconds, which was pretty quick, to 20 miles an hour in 4.6 seconds, with a top speed of 24.2 miles an hour. You know, fast enough to take the kids tubing. Not really fast enough for skiing, though. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features. Well, Conrad, it isn't often I get to see something completely different. And you guys took the furniture off my deck, put it on the water. That's pretty slick. That was, that was the intention, to give it the look and feel of the uh, current outdoor living spaces. And it's really comfortable, too. Uh, I love the high back. High backs uh, gives you a little bit, a little bit more comfort. It also gives you a little bit uh, better uh, feel of safety if you've got small ones on board. Absolutely. Now tell me about the ottoman here. It's an it's an ottoman like you'd find on your back porch. It serves. It opens up and serves as a uh, storage unit. So you could put a cooler in there. You have a place to throw the pillows if you're out running. Uh, it's pretty good size. So you can put uh, life jackets and other things inside. I thought you might have a cooler. I thought you were going to reach in and hand me a frosty beverage, but uh, that's after that's after we break. Sweet, Conrad, tell me about the helm. Uh, it's a helm that we've had uh, in previous years in the Party Craft line. We accented it with dark teak uh, and black trim. Uh, it's very functional. Lays out very traditionally. Room for a depth finder gauge built into the helm. Uh, Sony Stereo 3100 MP3. Uh, player. Nice so I can get my own mix in there. I like that. Yep. Tilt wheel is standard and uh, an adjustable uh, forward and aft slider for the captain. And yeah, I like uh, that little flash of color around. there too, the, uh, the patio we, theme. We wanted to have something that was a, had a neutral decor, yet you could pick and accent your boat with uh, things that were actually removable. If you like the, your boat one color one season, that's great. If you want to change out the color next season, you don't have to spend a fortune. You can do it easily. Awesome. Love the reclining action back here for sure. Plenty of, lo plenty of room on the starboard recliner and an extra large uh, recliner on the port side. Uh, you can recline and still sit somebody in the aft section. Now, one thing about this boat that really grabs me is how much uh, rear deck space you have back here. That's pretty neat. Typic typical of uh, fiberglass boats, uh, the large aft swim platform, and uh, we wanted to transition that into the pontoon segment, and we've I think we've done quite quite a good job at that. So you figure you're gonna have skiing action. Plenty of kid, plenty of kid and uh, kid action off the swim platform, and you can keep, they can stay outside of the boat and uh, have their own space. That's right. While well, we stay inside the boat and live it up. That's right. You know, I don't know too many pontoon boats that have their own helicopter landing pad, but the uh, Party Craft Monaco 240 is certainly one of them. For more information on this model and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. Malin Jones, and we'll see you out on the water.